Now, in this class, we are going to discuss about one of the important topics, that is, applications of total internal reflection. So here are the few, few examples for the total internal reflection that we observe in our daily life. The first one is formation of mirage and brilliance of diamond and optical fibers. Let us discuss one by one. First we discuss about the formation of mirages. So here is the image which shows the formation of a mirage. Mirage is an optical phenomenon that create illusion of water. These are most commonly observed on sunny days when driving down a roadway. On sunny days, surrounding air is heated to high temperatures. Hot air tends to be less dense than cooler air. When light travels through a non-uniform medium, that means hot air, cool air, that means different uh, medium, it flow, it follow a curved path to reach observer's eye. So you can observe this in the diagram. So a curved path of light ray traveling to the observer's eye. Now observer receives two rays from the object. One is direct and other is curved. You can observe these two rays in the diagram. One, di one light ray which is showing directly that means straight uh, straight line and another one is curved line so that's why the illusion of water takes place so next we discuss about the brilliance of diamond See here you can observe the how the total internal reflection takes place in a diamond. The refractive index of a diamond is 2.42. When light travels from A to diamond, its speed decreases 2.42 times. The critical angle of diamond is very less, that is 24.4 degrees only. So by polishing the diamond with specific cuts, it is adjusted that the angle of incidence is more than the critical angle. We know that when the angle of incidence is more than the critical angle, there the total internal reflection takes place. So hence, it suffers multiple reflections and gives the diamond a sparkling brilliance. That's why a diamond shines when a light ray is dispersed on it. And now we discuss about the another, another example for total internal reflection. That is optical fiber. One of the most important application of total internal reflection is optical fiber. So an optical fiber is given in the picture. Observe it carefully. So how the optical fiber works? Let us learn. When light enters the core of glass fiber, from one end in such a way that the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle. It suffers total internal reflection and emerges from 
other end. You can observe this in the picture. See, the optical fiber contains few parts, that is, core. See, you can observe, the light ray is entering from one end of the fiber optics. So, when it enters into it, that means the angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle of that glass material. That's why it takes reflection and travels. You can observe this phenomenon in this diagram clearly. So, where we use these optical fibers in our daily life? So, these optical fibers are used in optical communications. And also, we use this in endoscopy. So, endoscopy is one of the tests we, uh, we take in the medicals, medical field.